What is up, YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench, and we have the best coupons for Harbor Freight for the month of May 2020. Now, as the timestamps come down, you can see that we'll be starting off with coupons that I consider the best coupons, only ones that will save you 30% or more. Then next up will be excluded item coupons. These are any items that are excluded from the standard 20% off coupons. So items like toolboxes, trailers, anything by Hercules or Bauer, that kind of stuff. Then we'll look at the new tools Harbor Freight has brought us this month. And then we'll wrap it up with what I call the coupon gallery. The oddball coupons, 20% off coupons. Just, just weird stuff I had no other place to put. So feel free to skip ahead to whatever section you might be looking for or... Let's just jump right in and get on with this ride. So for my first time visitors, let me let you know that I go through these coupons very quickly. I don't want a dilly dally. I don't want a 20, 30 minute coupon video. So if you see a coupon you like, pause the video, take a screenshot. You can take that into the store. They can scan it from your phone or type in the number to the register, which will also get you the discount. And let me remind everybody that again, during this situation, we're all going through any coupon that expires in april or may eric schmidt put out a statement is good until june 30th so all these coupons the last coupon video i did for april they're all good till june 30th in fact these ones and last months actually have a june 30th expiration date but if you happen to get one that doesn't have a june 30th expiration date you might just have to talk to the manager. The statement is still on their website, so you can bring that to their attention if they don't know. They should know, but some of these people aren't the most dedicated employees I've ever been around. But I'm sure every store is a little different in that aspect. These ball hitches, we used to buy them actually for work all the time. They worked fine. They worked great. Same thing with these rubber wheel chocks. Now, that little strap in the back would break sometimes, but the wheel chalk itself was just fine. I mean, it's a rubber wheel chalk. It's pretty hard to screw something like that up. Remember when we used to get these lights for free? The good old days. I put an X on this because this is actually coming up on one of my worst tools from Harbor Freight. I do not recommend this battery charger. I used it one time and that's all the use I got out of it. And it was too late to return it. I was past the 90 days because that's not a tool you use every single day. At least for me, it's not. And I really don't think many professional shops are going to have a Harbor Freight trickle charger in their shop. They'll probably spring for something a little better quality, and it's obvious why. The hex adapters I bought back when they used to be 99 cents all the time, and I used them somewhat, but I could never use them long term because I always misplace the damn things. I don't think I've ever had a set longer than three months before I'm buying another set. Now this digital caliper, I highly recommend it made my top five hand tools from Harbor Freight video. And you see in the bottom I circled because this also is a coupon for the SAE metric and fractional reading caliper. So for 10 bucks, I highly, highly recommend that digital caliper. This kind of tool bag from them, I have no experience with, don't know if it'll last. Now I have their canvas tool bag, which is pretty flimsy, but I like it and the drill master grinder it's a ten dollar grinder now we're going to look at excluded items from harbor freight this month and we got a bunch of different jack options and almost every toolbox they have does have a coupon this month also quite a few bower items now a forty dollar string trimmer is a hell of a deal if you're already in the bower line that's the thing with harbor freight cordless tools is if you add up what the tool costs battery costs and a charger costs you're looking at the same price as Ryobi, sometimes Milwaukee compared with some of the Hercules stuff. And that's not even factoring in the value of a warranty, which you still have to purchase with the Harbor Freight cordless tools. So I am planning to do a video showing this more in depth, showing actual numbers and figures side by side. Now I do think if you're on a budget, this corded impact is always an option and cobalt makes a good one as well the earthquake polisher there isn't a bad deal at 89 dollars because it includes a battery and a charger now i haven't actually used it but just in comparing prices to even other no-name brands on amazon it seems like it's a pretty good deal i just don't have a use for one therefore i'm not going to buy it we got the standard miter saw coupons we see all the time now something new that i was excited to see was a bundle for some hercules tools now this still isn't quite the deal it seems to be because 
you can get a similar combo kit from Milwaukee with a five-year warranty for around the same price. Again, I don't want to go too deep into that because I do plan on doing a video where I'll break down the numbers side by side to prove to you what I'm saying is true. But if you're dead set on joining the Hercules line, one of those combo kits will save you around 30 bucks from buying everything separately. And we also have a new brawn welder <laughs> for you. Come on, you had one job, Harbor Freight. 40 bucks for a little three gallon compressor. Now I have one of these, the hot dog version, in my shop. I wanna see how long it's gonna run with zero maintenance to it. It's 40 bucks, wonder if I can just, you know, every two years buy a new three gallon compressor. The downside is that thing takes forever to fill a little three gallon tank, at least 10 minutes or so of constant running, which is irritating. So if you're looking for an entry level thickness planner, you won't find a better deal than this Bauer here. It's identical to my Wen planner I reviewed a year ago. Now I got the one for 250 with a two year warranty, but since then the price has gone above $300. So that Bauer is your best deal right now. Now if you're in the market for something a little bit nicer, you got the four post Dewalt thickness planner for around 550. But I suggest saving another $100 and going with the Jet 13 inch on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description because it has a helical cutter head and that is worth the extra hundred dollars all day long. They used to have some Qtex that were even cheaper with heel cutter heads, but Qtex has been dissolved into another company and they're not releasing planers anymore. Anyways, let's look at some of the new tools Harbor Freight has to offer this month. Starting out with a new budget-friendly option from US General, a one-drawer service cart for 99 bucks. Now, lots of times if you go over to Northern Tool, they have an Ironton two drawer service cart goes on sale for a hundred dollars a lot of times it has the top where it splits in half and the two top sides slide out if that makes sense if i'm describing it correctly if you want to see it it's in my northern tool walkthrough video and it was on sale for 99 dollars at that time i think that's a little bit better option but it's all depending on what you have around you too we got quite a few new tools to add to the icon line at prices that again don't make sense to me I don't go to Harbor Freight to spend $140 on a set of swivel sockets it, <laughs> but but that's me I'm a cheap ass so maybe this makes sense to somebody if you're comparing Harbor Freight to a tool truck which I don't think you should but that's my opinion the Doyle pliers I'm excited to see you know kind of a Knipex option I've been happy with my standard channel lock style dual pliers i've had them for about two years now used them semi-professionally then brought them home and they've held up great so i might actually try some of these quick sliding kind i do have the button quick sliding kind a knockoff brand i got from tractor supply a couple years ago that have done great but i might as well give the duels a try they have a new warrior belt sander coming out and i say new in quotations because it looks very similar to the old Chicago Electric. They might have changed a few things, but you can actually get the Chicago Electric one right now for $25 because they're clearancing it out. I'm sure that this Warrior is going to replace that one. We got a bunch of Hercules SDS bits, which is good to see. I guess they're going to come out with a Hercules SDS drill. Um, we'll see what the price on it ends up being, if it makes sense again or not. And a special tool for opening plastic packages, I guess. I guess we need a special tool for that now. Scissors just won't do the job. And to go along with the Harbor Freight oddities, such as a wheelchair and a walker, you can now get hearing aid batteries. They're at Harbor Freight. No need to go anywhere else. Disposable inline moisture filter. I might think about picking one of these up. And these new Baxter belts, I like it because they are ceramic, and ceramic is good at removing metal without heating it up a whole lot. I have a few ceramic belts for my 4x36 belt sander. I use them for shaping high-speed steel and they work way better than a normal belt. Now this was interesting to me. Harbor Freight's coming out with a bunch of new paint brushes, but they literally will tell us the good, better, best quality as you see there. You had a better, this is a good right there and the Avanti is the best so take that for what it's worth I don't go to Harbor Freight for high quality paint brushes but I do go there quite often for cheap brushes to use on things like epoxy brushes that are good enough they won't leave bristles behind but 
nothing too good I don't mind throwing away. Now these Icon Flex Head Ratcheting Wrenches, I can't remember if they were on last month's video or not, but they're out there now for 140 bucks. And I do remember seeing this, so that's kind of wrapping up the new tools for this month. Everything from here on after we saw last month, so you have to go back to April if you want to check those out. Now on to our product specific coupons. These are coupons I just really didn't know where to throw anywhere But else. they can be useful because they don't have exclusions like the 20% off super coupon. If you want the Hercules miter saw stand, go back a couple of coupons and get that 20% off any miter saw stand. Kind of makes sense. And we always have our standard 20% off coupons. But I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Hope you guys save some money. And as always, until next time. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button down there. And we'll holler at you next time. Peace.